What's up, Blazioneers and Blazionettes? So I'm going to be giving you guys my quick review for Rocky Balboa as we're counting down the Creed 2. So basically, the premise of the movie is where it's been years later, like after um, after we last seen Rocky, and um, and he's struggling with some dilemmas and. The best way we know he can do that is when he steps back in the ring. That's the best way he can handle how he can he can confront his demons. So that is basically the plot of the movie without giving it away. So from here on, spoiler warning. So basically, um, he is grieving over the loss of Adrian. And um, he still has Polly there though, but still... He, he now runs a restaurant and um, and he's back in Philadelphia and um, that's what he's been doing with his life for a while. And while he's walking down memory lane remembering all the good times that he had with Adrian. And um, it's just hard for him to deal with. I mean there's, you know, like that's, I mean the best way he can grieve is when he steps back in the ring and just, you know, like or um, the stuff in the basement as he would say. And, um, and then we see that um and then there and then who he basically fights and who he fights in the ring this time around is not really that captivating like um mason dixon um just you know like how how you know like how much of a presence these other boxers that rocky has faced are really they all stand out like apollo creed clubber lang ivan drago um I'm not. I'm not gonna say Tommy Gun. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna say Tommy Gun. But um, but yeah. Um, but with here, it's just um, you know, just another guy. But that's that's not really basically the relevance of the movie. I mean, it's more so like with Rocky and how he and how he's struggling with this loss of Adrian, and um, and you see how him want, wanting to get back into the ring is kind of affects his relationship with his son and um his son is like you know he 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 um he doesn't understand why he wants to do that and then and then he gives him that speech of how life is not about how hard you can hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward and man that those words man those words i mean the rocky that man has always has a way with words e even though like he may have a weird way of, like over the years, he may have had a weird way of saying it, but here he really, you really get that when he says it. You really understand him. And then, um, yeah, so like looking back on this movie, I really do appreciate it much more for what it is. Back then I was just like, um, they could have had, I don't know. I mean, I came thinking back in the ring, but actually when I actually stopped and think and really thought about what he was trying to do and I only saw this movie a few times and um and I really understand the Rocky what where he was coming from with why he was willing to get back in the ring while everybody was like what huh like don't don't you think you're that that should be like those days should be behind you why do you want to get back in that ring I mean that's kind of risky for you right now don't you think uh, but um but yeah um he actually he handled he handled it really well, really well. I mean, like he, for a guy at that age, and then the way he was moving in that ring. I mean, he was moving. He was really moving, and um, and um, yeah. Uh, it it was really, you know, like it, I really had I really found myself appreciating it a little bit more than I did when I looked back on it, like um like prior to like around the time Creed came around and I'm like this is a more improved story as opposed to Rocky Balboa and I still feel that way but looking back on it it really is a, a solid movie and um and you see where Rocky is at this point in his life and um so yeah it's a pretty cool opportunity and, it, and I guess it kind of it kind of makes up for Rocky 5 like where we haven't seen a Rocky movie in years and years um but yeah, um, this sort of feels like a better conclusion to the story as opposed to Rocky V. So yeah, so with that all being said, I have to give this movie, um, hmm. I think I will go ahead and give this movie th uh, three and a half chair spins out of five. So here we go. One, 
two, three and a half chair spins. So, and, um, and I, but yeah, I mean, like, I was trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to basically touch base on this movie. And with the fact that Rocky actually lost that battle, it wasn't the point of him winning the battle. I think it was him just trying to confront his grief with Adrian. And then he was able to do that. And I think, and I think he was able, you know, to basically have some closure on that after that. It wasn't about winning or losing or anything like that, winning the fight, but it was about handling it the best way he knew how. And that's how he knew, and that's how he knew, damn it, grammar malfunction. So that was the, that was the best way he can handle, you know, the confrontation with his demons. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed my review for Rocky Balboa, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel and click that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my re-review for Creed, the first Creed movie. I already reviewed it years ago, but I kind of want to review it again. So yeah, look for that in about a few days. So until then, peace out, y'all. <laughs>